welcome back everybody so today we're going to try the product from short throw brewing company this is the first beer i've had from them uh double india pale ale one pint eight percent abv uh keep cold drink fresh stay fresh uh packaged on one eight twenty uh i probably had this for two weeks uh so this is july so we'll see how this is holding up three dollars and 99 cents i did pick this up at hoffman street grocery i don't know how long they've had it but like i said it's it, it's probably two weeks uh that i've had this so it's been sitting there or at uh the brewing warehouse for a while so let's go ahead and open it get it into a glass see what we think I didn't roll it or anything. Uh, my guess from a lot of these, unless it says like throwback or classic double IPA, I'm guessing most of them are going to be that hazy New England style. Uh, but it didn't say roll. Uh, we'll keep the rest in the bottom. We'll drink some, then I'll pour the rest in there. Um, Whitehead, it is dissipating pretty quickly, not even a quarter of a finger. Color, um, yellow bright yellow uh very hazy very cloudy lots of troub uh floating in there i cannot see through it i would say it's a pretty good haze it's a little lighter on the sides than anything but let's go ahead and smell very juicy fruit mango pineapple those type of uh tropical fruits uh some sweetness on there a, a, a touch of bitterness but that that juicy tropical fruit really stands out in this good level not over the top nothing very low just nice where i think a double new england ipa or juicy ipa should be a, a little bit of sweetness but i can see that it is a double you're going to pull more off um uh, more sugar out of the grain yeah it there does seem to be just a little bit of bitterness on the back end at first i was thinking you know like a hot burn maybe it's very young but being six months old it's not young so that hot bitterness is there let's go ahead and taste Juicy fruit, generic juicy fruit, tropical fruit up front. It almost tastes like there's lactose in here. It's not, most of the time when they use lactose, I get a vanilla, but this is, this is tasting like lactose. Yeah, yeah, that, that generic, tropical fruit up front lactose with a little sweetness in there going to the back is where i get the most lactose or most sweetness along with a little bit of bitterness in there aftertaste first thing that comes to my mind is like a more of a berry like a strawberry tropical sweetness good body good mouthfeel medium body not as smooth as some of the other double slash new england ipas juicy ipas that i've had but it it's there it's just not all the way let's go ahead and pour the rest of this in here there we go there's our head so if we went with this head it would be almost like a pineapple color like a white um almost yellow head on there a little over a finger of head it did add more troub in there yeah it doesn't we'll have to look up the hops but yeah lots and lots of troub in there see if it smells any different 
Not really. If anything, I think I'm getting a little citrus from it now. But that juicy fruit is still there. Aftertaste is more of a berry. I'm going to stick to that. It's like a sweeter strawberry. But it, it, it's mixed in with that tropical fruit that I'm getting. But yeah, overall, good beer. Let's check on tap to see if they tell us what hops are used. Mosaic. 100% um, mosaic hops for our triple dry hopped India Pale Ale. Um, yeah, so the at least the, the dry hop, I'm guessing, is all mosaic. I don't think they're using 100% mosaic in the whole entire boil. I could be wrong. Um, but that's just me going by this that I doubt you would want to use 100% mosaic. For me, I would have to go with a 4.25 out of 5 on this one. It doesn't say they're using lactose. I like my double IPAs, double New England IPAs, hazy IPAs with a little bit more bitterness to cut through that sweetness. I just think if you have that much sweetness, you're not going to be able to drink more than one of them. Um, and I would rather drink more than one and have it a little bitter than all that sweetness, almost like you're, uh, drinking a dessert beer or something. So yeah, 4.25 out of five. If we do look at untapped, uh, three of my friends have checked it in average 4.17 out of five, uh, almost 4,000 people have checked this in four out of five so yeah pretty good one especially for uh four bucks i would pick it up again and drink it so if you're into these hazier kind of sweeter ipas double ipas uh then go ahead and see if you can find this one if you know of any other beers from this brewery i should try let me know and i'll see what i can do if you enjoyed this video check some more out over here and until next time happy brewing